Hi, welcome to PCI Tech TV. We're going to take a look at a quick tip that will save you a lot of time. Today's quick tip is adding metadata elements to an image. So we're going to work with TIFF imagery in this case. And we're going to add two specific metadata elements that will improve our working capabilities with this image in the future. So there's two specific things that we want to, we want to change with this imagery when we load it in here. The first thing is that if you notice, we're rendering the image with the color bands reversed. So if we right click here, go to the RGB mapper, by default we load the first channel in the red band, the third channel in the blue band, when in fact with the World View 2 sensor this should be reversed. And then that will give us our true color composite. So we don't want to have to redo that every single time we want to load this image and view it as a true color composite. So we're going to set some default value metadata so that, so that when we load this image in the future it will automatically load with these default settings. So let's click on the Files tab, right click on the image here, or the file image here, go to Properties, Metadata, add a new element, call it Default Red Channel 3, add a new one, Default Green Channel 2, and another one, Default Blue, channel 1. You can go apply and make sure to save your file and then let's re-render this image. So we're going to click back on this one, re-add the image into the project and then as you can see it loads it with the crocker proper band order. So let's just verify that by going to the RGB mapper and you can see that the band order is now in reverse. Perfect. So the next one we want to do, which is another very important one and highly requested, is the ability to remove or set the no data value to a given pixel here. So let's just look at the histogram for this image. So if we go to a single band, for example the green band, you can see that you have a large uh, amount of uh, values or, large, or a high frequency of occurrence for the zero. This is because this is the no data value and it occurs much more frequent than any other valid image pixel. And this makes it difficult to work with the histogram as it shrinks it. So what we want to do is we want to specify the no data value tag in this project or in this image. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the image, right click on it, and go to properties. And we're going to go once again to metadata. And we're going to add the value no underscore data, oops, underscore data value, and we'll set that to zero go apply. As you can see, that disappears. Save the file again and once again we will add the project so that it updates. So let's add this image again. And so just to clarify, what it does is it will reset the histograms so that when we go to the area, look at the histograms, we can now see that we would remove that area and our histograms appear much more appropriate. So thank you for watching this episode of PCI's Tech TV Quick Tips.